What up y'all, today I got a simple little video for you. I'm gonna be trying out, drinking this beer right here. This is, uh, looks like an ordinary beer, but it's not, it ain't. This is Goose Island, shout out to Shy by the way. Goose Island Bourbon County Brand Stout. You might have seen it before, you might not have, but this is pretty interesting. I was at Costco the other day and uh, I was perusing the aisles and I synced it and uh, I scooped it. That's how I do it, man. So this is 36 bucks. That's what caught my eye. I was like, wait, what is this here? And uh, I found out it was beer and I'm like, damn, that's the most expensive bottle of beer I've ever seen. Also, it's 15.2%. So this is stronger than most wines. This is basically as strong as soju almost. So this is pretty crazy. This is like uh, 500 milliliters, half a liter. And supposedly it's like 500 calories. So yeah, you knock down a few of these bad boys and get that beer belly real quick. Here's the bottle, pretty simple, not really a label on the front, but it does be having these nice words on it. There is a label on the back if you want to read it. Supposedly, what makes it special is that this is aged in bourbon barrels for a year. Uh, this one is from 2019, and it has notes of vanilla, toffee, chocolate, burnt sugar, and dried fruit. Sounds very complex. I'm gonna pour it into this glass right here. Nice, satisfying pop of the top. And yeah, I, I should warn you guys, you know, I'm not a beer expert. I, I don't really know too much about beer actually. So uh, the beer masters might be hating on me, but it is what it is. Wow, right off the bat, we're getting a very dark beer here. Nice little foam. Foamy head at the top, I think that's what they say. It smells very interesting. I don't really know how to describe the flavor, but it's unlike other beers that I've had. I mean, this is by far the strongest beer I've ever had. So yeah, I just kind of want to taste this. I think it's kind of a cool thing. You can probably cop it a lot easier than I can cop it. And I've only seen this at Costco, so this is expensive, but I feel like, uh, you know, they're not going to be raising the price that much on me. I mean, Costco is an American brand. Also, I'm blabbering way too much. Let's just take a nice, refreshing drink of this beer. It's pretty chill right now. Going in, cheers. Mmm. Wow. Wowzer, man. That is actually really good. Mmm. Wow, that is, again, I've never had a beer like this. This is crazy. It's, a, it's a obviously super dark. It almost looks like a syrup, like a molasses type of thing. And it almost kind of has, you know, a sticky, slimy consistency. That's probably not the right words. I'm getting hit with all different kinds of uh, flavors. I can almost taste that, those old wooden barrels, man. I, I ain't lying. Like I said, I'm not really a beer connoisseur, so I can't really give you too much info on this. But another reason I wanted to try this is just to see like how I'll feel after drinking this bottle because 15%, that ain't no joke. I'm, I'm dead sober right now and uh, we'll, we'll see after this beer. One of the reasons I don't drink much beer is because it's just too weak, man, and like I don't want to be sipping on like 5% beer all damn day. It's just inefficient to me. You know, I go to the bathroom every, you know, 20 minutes. So it's like, you know what? I like, you know, a little bit more concentrated uh, alcohol. But this right here, I can get used to this. The only problem is, like I said, after four, four of these, like, supposedly that's 2,000 calories. Also, I found some interesting info online. Uh, there's this website called beeradvocate.com. I'm pretty sure this is like the beer rating website. This is the go-to place if you want to find out about a beer. And this is ranked number 25 out of all beers. And there are 13,256 ratings. Um, it's got a score of 100. And, and yeah, like people really love this beer. So a lot of you guys have probably had it. Um, 
And if you had it, haven't had it, I would recommend it. I am getting a little bit of dried fruits um, in, in the chocolate as well. Let me just top this off. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of a buzz going too, like just off of what I had. What I probably had right there is probably the equivalent of like, I don't know, a couple shots at least. I feel like this is uh, enough to give you, it gets you a little bit tipsy after one bottle. I could see this going well with a lot of food. Um, something complex, a little nice, something nice like barbecue maybe. You don't really want to be drinking this with like, uh, with just any old thing, you know. Mm. Yeah, whenever I go out and drink beers, which is not very often, there's some beer places around here. I always look for the strongest beer because I'd rather have like two, three glasses of like a stronger beer than 10 glasses of a weak beer. So but yeah, like I said, this is the strongest I've seen. And I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, a uh, little tingly sensation, man. Huh? The real test is the creeper. Like if I just drank this and chilled for about 10 minutes, cause it takes a little bit to catch up. That's why I'm kind of doing a little bit of, uh, maybe a, a lot of talking and not a lot of drinking, but I'm just chilling with it, you know? <sighs> Excuse me, burnt sugar. It does have kind of a burnt quality now that, now that I read the label. Um, yeah, huh, man, wow. Face getting a little bit hot, getting the Asian glow going. Uh, it, I mean, I don't really know what to say. This is not a typical video for me, but I really do think this is interesting. And I feel like if you're, uh, legal age, you should definitely give it a try. If you, even if you don't like beer, you know what I mean? Because th like I'm saying, like this ain't no natty light with it. <sighs> Doing some decent work on it though. Let's see, anything else? So yeah, I've never heard of like aged beer in barrels, but I guess it's a thing. Uh, supposedly this lasts until 2024 and it says enjoy in a snifter, which yeah, I don't have that, you know, don't have that one. Definitely got some, got some flush going. Ah, this part had some cuts, but I probably finished that within about, I don't know, 10 minutes. So if you really do the math, would it? Uh, so this right here is about 17 fluid ounces. And if I recall right, one shot, a standard shot is about one ounce, which people really, I, I don't know if people really be following that a lot. So, uh, but either way, if you look at a standard liquor or spirit or something, uh, which maybe is like 35, 40%, like maybe a little bit stronger would be 45%. This times three would be, uh, so 15% times three would be 45%. That's how, I don't know if this makes sense, but then if you divide 17 by three, I mean, you're getting somewhere, I'm, I'm gonna say like six, you know, off the top uh, of the dome, which ain't really running too, it ain't running right now. I'm, I'm, I'm slithering, my brain is a little bit, <laughs> getting a little bit loosey-goosey with it. But yeah, so I'm gonna estimate that this right here, this is like taking six shots in 10 minutes. That can't be right though, is it? Is that? I never thought that one beer would have me feeling this type of way, you know what I'm saying? About to get me some grub. Definitely legit, this beer. Would I pay 36 bucks for this again? Me personally, probably not. But if you're someone into beer, then yeah, for sure. It's definitely worth a try at least once. And you could probably get this cheaper if you're not 
like in Korea, you know what I mean? So, um, good stuff here. If this was cheaper, I'd definitely be drinking again because I love the flavor. I love the strength of it. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm about to get out of here. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you found this somewhat enjoyable. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.